Hello everybody from Gatlinburg, Tennessee. It's October. The weather is cooling down ever so slightly. We had some plans for today that we may need to slightly adjust because now the weather says it may rain all day. So we're definitely gonna go down and have some food first. We need some breakfast and we're gonna take a recommendation that we've gotten quite a bit and try something that's very popular here and then uh, we'll take it from there. We may be finding out what to do in Gatlinburg, Tennessee when it rains, or maybe it'll stop. We'll see, but let's go. All right, we're gonna head out. Oh, it is chilly. It's about a 15 minute walk from our hotel to kind of the main, the main bit. So we're just gonna walk. We've got our rain jackets on. It's just freaking a little. Uh, it's definitely chilly though. Yeah. Gatlinburg is famous for pancakes, and there are a few different pancake restaurants that kind of compete for the top spot. Log Cabin Pancake House is one. Look how cute that is. There's a huge line, wow. So yeah, Log Cabin Pancake House is one of them, and Pancake Pantry is the other. Now, there are people who have a favorite of one or the other, but almost everyone says that you can't go wrong with either, and that they're both wonderful so we're here at log cabin pancake house and the line is long but it's not as long as it usually is so we're gonna take a chance and try it out they've got this lovely heater on it feels so good you can see people inside eating and they look so happy but it's moving quick I think we we'll wait, keep waiting a little. Everybody goes in in chunks, like up to the door when there's space, and then once that line clears in a little, then we can go in and do the cold weather, keep the door closed. We're in. Theming in here is awesome. There's carved wood everywhere. It feels so cozy. We're almost in. We only waited outside for about 15 minutes, right? Yeah, really quick. Yeah. Really it looks cute in here, right? Yeah. yeah. Back roads, less traveled. I like that. I like these carved bears. Please wait to be seated. Whoa. <laughs> Immediately, the moment we sat down, you want coffee? Yes, they poured coffee, right? That was absolutely immediate. Look at how cute everything is. It says the Log Cabin Pancake House, established in 1976, wow. And it has the same uh, little bit of information that you can see out front and a big menu. So we're gonna decide. Old fashioned coffee filled with creamer. <laughs> So this restaurant is obviously themed like a log cabin. There's beautiful fall decor everywhere. Look at those beams. It's really beautiful. Sam, yeah. you're just like fried chicken. You make everything better. And crispy. <laughs> I guess. Like dinners. Yeah. All right, breakfast is served. I got some country ham, scrambled eggs, the walnut. Pancakes. What were yours called again? Um, cabin. Pancakes. Like the cabin special, and you got an egg with sausage. I already it ate, smells incredible. I already ate one. So. <laughs> oh my! It smells so good, right? Yeah. It Spread that butter all around, or just put a blob, I guess. Here we go. Put a blob. I don't often get pancakes. No, me neither. But this is a pancake mm. house. I mean. I read that they make their own syrup. I, oh boy, that came out fast. That came out really fast, so be careful. I hope I didn't just mess up my pancakes. Well, are you gonna put some on? No, you're scared. Yep, the pancakes are delicious. I get the hype. They're soft, they're thick, they're just like weedy and just very fresh and natural tasting, like homemade, delicious, full of flavor just really good. All right, fine. Mm-hmm. They're delicious. Right? Mm -hmm. We were kind of saying like, pancakes, I mean, I'm sure they'll be good, but pancakes are pancakes, but yeah, nice. no, these are out of hand. These are real good. They're like so fluffy. Mm. Probably the best pancakes I've ever had. Honestly, me too. Mm -hmm. The best. I don't have a huge back history of pancakes, <laughs> but delicious. 
Yeah, like our pancake repertoire. We've had pancakes at all the usual places. These are the absolute best. So good, delicious. Yeah, sure. Uh, sure. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, so good. I thought, you know, the syrup was so like watery when it came out, but it tastes awesome. It tastes so good. All right, let's try some country ham. It is a big slab of ham. It is the biggest slab of ham. They do have a lot of breakfast items. Not everything is pancakes, but I mean, that's what this place is famous for, and I see why. Yummy, very yummy. Yours looks so good too with the pineapple. Delicious. Yeah, give it a go. Let me have a go. Oh yeah, this is really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go try mine too. So mine are old fashioned, and Sam's are buckwheat, and they're both delicious. I wouldn't even say one's better than the other. They're both great. Uh, all done. So delicious, really nice service, very friendly atmosphere. I'm gonna take a look around and show you some of the theming. We're in this beautiful log cabin. There's exposed beams, uh, natural looking wood everywhere, old like turn of the century fixtures. It's just lovely, so we'll take a look at that and then we're gonna head out. A lot of the outdoor activities today are closed because of the weather. There's actually even snow in some parts of Pigeon Forge today. Yeah, so we are gonna figure out what we're gonna do. We're gonna enjoy our day in this mountain town one way or another. But whether we're gonna get up on a mountain or not is the question. <laughs> Always rocking. If there's a rocking chair to be found, that's where to find me. You will find it. It's now 1 p.m. The line's completely gone. So there you go. I bet the cold weather is keeping some people away, but that was awesome. We really enjoyed that breakfast, the service, the whole experience was lovely. I can see why this place is so popular, and I would definitely recommend it. The pancakes were outstanding, really, really good. So now we're gonna go walk around and uh, check out what's going on here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. It's like a mountain town, it's very close to Pigeon Forge, but it's its own thing, kind of like David S. Pumpkins. It's its own thing. Off we go. I love the fall decorations everywhere. We're walking up on the main strip. There are a lot of touristy, wacky things, a lot of interesting architecture, like these keyhole windows. This place looks closed and abandoned. There are all these old arcade machines in here. Wow, weird. Wow. They're like on though, it looks weird. Yeah, it? some of them are turned on and some are wrapped up. How bizarre. <laughs> but it's for sale. This Space Needle Tower thing. I think over there is that Ober Gatlinburg? No, that's Skylift. We did Skylift Park. There's Skylift Park, Anakisa, Ober Gatlinburg, and a lot of activities are closed because of the weather. So, let's see what it's about. The main strip is filled with people, cars, tourists. There's so much going on. I would sit on this bench, but it's all wet from the rain. But that's a cute little photo op. Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge have quite a few Ripley's franchises, different businesses. And this one, okay, there's a lot going on in here. But this I've seen at IAPA, the IAPA Expo. This is just one of the many weird attractions here in Gatlinburg. Because Gatlinburg is weird. Oh, this looks so cute. The old smoky candy kitchen, home of delicious candies. Let's check it out. Look. Oh, wow, that's cool. Here, baby. That's great. Oh, nice, you get a sample too. Really cool, you get to watch them making the candy, making these peppermints. And you get a sample. Ooh, yummy, it smells so good in here. Try my sample. All right, let's try this. Soft, pepperminty. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delicious. Well. That is interesting. Oh boy. All smoky moonshine. I love their Halloween decorations. So cute. All the little ghosties watering the pumpkins. Across the way there is Earthquake the Ride. It's an indoor dark ride. Very weird. We did that in a past video. I'll link it so you can see it because I show the whole thing. Very weird, but it's fun. Here's a little area called the Village and it's cute. It looks like a little European village. I just heard someone say. He has a stomach cramp from eating too much. Oh, this looks very cute. Let's stroll around in here. 
What's Sam looking at? What are you looking at? Oh, more taffy. I wonder if they give samples here too. I like the other one because he was making like a mint one, so it was red and white striped. It looked really cool. Very pretty in here, decorated for fall. The ultimate tin man, I guess. I love the decorations in here. It's all like gardening stuff. <laughs> Very creative and pretty. There is one shop in the village here that's the only original shop from when the village opened. Um, the owner said that they came here in 1969 and it's called the Donut Fryer. And even though we're really full, uh, the reviews are rave. So I gotta try one. The Donut Fryer, where's the entrance? Um, it says it's around the corner. Here's the entrance. <laughs> Well, it smells amazing in here. It smells like cinnamon bread. I think we'll have a coffee too. Let's see what we got. I think, oh, there's a lot to choose from. I think I might get a cinnamon cake. That sounds good. So it is cash only, um, but they do have a little ATM in here, so I was able to grab some cash and make an order. And just remember, no bitching in the kitchen. I think my favorite thing so far is this fryer with a plate of donuts. But hopefully, I love the donuts. Are the donuts good here? He says yes. It's warmer in here than out there. It's cozy now. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's take our coffee. I got a cinnamon cake and a cake glazed and two vanilla lattes. Are these donuts as legendary as people say? Nice. Yeah, they're very good. They're very thick, sweet, but not too sweet. Um, very soft, very fresh tasting. They try to sell out every day and they make them fresh every day. And the cinnamon is wow. If you like cinnamon, you'll love this. If you don't, skip the cinnamon. <laughs> Yeah, because it's very cinnamon. Yeah. Let's try regular cake. They call it cake for a reason. It is like a thick, soft, sweet piece of cake. Very good, yeah. If you're here, come grab a donut. They're also really friendly and nice inside. I was chatting with them and they're just like, it's a very homey atmosphere. The architecture inside all these places is really cool too. So it's a, it's a cute stop. And I like that they have lattes and cappuccinos too. Lots of people enjoying the village. Love to see the pops of fall color everywhere too. It's really pretty. Look at this cool horse. Little bears everywhere and scarecrows everywhere. Oh, what a cute Scarecrow, yeah, <laughs> what a cute couple. Yeah but they're literally crows, right? Like, yeah. that's really cute. Across the way is Mountain Mall, so we're gonna cross this very busy road, of course, once the stoplight allows it, and go over there. Okay, here we go. Across the way is Anakisa, which we did last year at this exact time. We really enjoyed that. So many pretty fall decorations in Gatlinburg, wow. Look at this bear here. This is a cute photo op. Welcome to the Mountain Mall, established 1978. You've even got a belly button. Yeah, what's that about? Oh. Someone's been picking his belly. Oh. DVDs, DVDs, records, and concerts. Okay, I think we can go into the Mountain Mall, yeah. Whoa. Thank you. Oh, cute. This is very pretty. It seems bumping in here. Whoa, all right, let's go in. A lot more than I thought would be in here. We've never been in here. We made it to the top. Very interesting place. That's a fun little stop. A lot of unique things, touristy things, but unique. Kind of independent businesses. Look off in the distance. You can see it's so hazy and rainy. 
kind of raining again too. It just started raining like crazy. It's kind of been sprinkling the whole time, but now it is, woo! Yeah. Okay, let's see what we can do. Oh, we tucked into Loco Burro, Fresh Max Cantina. Look at this guy. He's playing for everybody. Look at the rain outside, wow. Okay, we're gonna try the rooftop bar. They said it's covered, so. This was the only place we could get without getting wet. Yeah, we just kind of tucked into whatever was open and just to like wait it out a bit. Okay, there's an outside part, but we're gonna tuck in. It's the cover part. It's kind of like just raining on and off sprinkling so it's nice and cozy in here they've got the heater on in here and they have unlimited chips and salsa and i think i'm gonna get a michelada because we had bloody mary the other day that was really good and that's kind of like a well you'll see <laughs> <laughs> michelada so as it as you drink it down when it gets like down more you slowly lift this up and it'll pour the rest in yeah so i just gotta work it down yeah you just drink it out of the straw <laughs> That is good. I got a beer in the rain in cover. Yeah, what'd you get? I got a... Like a local beer. Tex-Mex lager. Nice. I don't know what, but it said it's like an amber ale. Nice. Enjoy. It's nice. It's yeah. the tower. It's just around the corner. It really is. And look, so we got their house-made salsa and then this. I don't know, but it's hot and it's good. I don't know if this rain is gonna stop, but it sure is cozy in here. They have these heaters. I like these pretty glass lamps too. And inside was really cool, decorated as well. Not a whole lot of people up on the sky lift right now. I feel like it would be miserable to be on that, just sitting in the rain getting soaked. It's really fun to do the sky lift. We love it, but... Uh, yeah, so there's Anakista, Skylift Park, Ober Gatlinburg. Uh, we've done Anakista and Skylift. We've never done Ober, which we were going to do today, but then it like closed basically. So we're making the best of the day. We're having fun, you know? Wow, look at how beautiful the mountains are. Just beautiful here in any type of weather. It's stunning. I think after the rain, there's going to be more of the fall colors too. As you go, you kind of like lift it up a little, put it back, and it refills up with the beer mixed with the Bloody Mary mix. And it's really nice. It's interesting. It's like when you add seltzer water to a drink type of thing, it makes it cold and bubbly. And it's really good actually. It's kind of like a mini lunch. And the chips and salsa are great too. Both of the kinds of salsa. Let me try. It's a cool view from up here. You can see the strip is just jam-packed with people. You can see that Space Needle, the mountains, and all the smoke up there. It's really cool. This place is so cool, and we were watching a bunch of food come out, and it all looked really good, so we'd consider coming back here to eat again for sure. Look at this cute little band. We got a banjo, a fiddle, a stand-up bass, or I guess a violin. we've never done here is go up into this Space Needle. Sam really wants to do it. I am a bit hesitant, but we're gonna check it out. We're gonna scope it out. I like that they have Halloween decorations. <sighs> I don't know, man. This is a crazy arcade. So your admission includes a day ride and a night ride. This arcade is crazy. It's decorated for Halloween and also they have some wacky games. Some that I've never seen. Some I haven't seen in ages. Stinky Feet. I feel like I've seen this once before. Yeah, like huge claw games and just everything. Do you like all these? Yeah, I do like these. Okay, so this is an elevator, right? Yep. So just be careful. The deck might be a little, little slippery in the rain. Okay. Okay. So just kind of be careful. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. This is all you. Okay. It's a uh, old school, isn't it? Yeah. There's like old carpet in here. Oh, oh boy. School. She said it only took like two minutes to go up. So. Yeah, Oh, the views better be good up there. The stairs look a bit. <laughs> oh, I can't look at them. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, do we not 
tall this thing is? When I looked on the website, it said over 400 feet. Oh my goodness. Well, we have been up to the top of, you know, many of these mountains and seen the view and it's been spectacular, so I'm hoping. Yeah, from down there, we're going to get a nice view. Yeah, it is a smooth ride, I'll give it that. Going up higher, Sam. There we go. Nearly there. Are we almost there? there? Yeah. It is smooth. I will say yeah. it's extremely smooth. Can you imagine having to take those stairs? I don't want to think about it. Me neither. <laughs> okay. Observation deck. Which way do we go? Oh, both. Okay. All right. Here we go. Okay, wow, yeah, the view is definitely worth it. This is incredible. He's a crazy man. Very close to the edge here. They have these that you can look through for distant viewing. I think I can just look, I don't have to. Oh, yeah, nope, it doesn't do. Oh, 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 oh yeah, wow, I think that's just right now because of the weather. Whoa, that must be so crazy. Look at the birds up there spiraling around and around. So we've seen the Space Needle many, many times. Every time we drive up to this area, we see it. And I, I don't know what I expected, but I did not expect it to be this beautiful and cool. The views are stunning, 360 all the way around. Now when you go up to Anakista or Skylift or Ober, which is the one we haven't done yet, but we will, um, you get amazing views too, but what's cool about this is it's in the middle and it's all around. So let's let's get some 360 views. This is amazing. It makes me a little nervous. I don't, See? Because it's so open Ooh. and wet. And you can feel the floor kind of moving. Like you can feel this yeah. thing swaying or moving somehow. That's not a hotel. That's ah! like... uh, I see a bunch of hotels. One of those I'm is ours. Right oh yeah, I see it. That's neat. So there are signs in each direction letting you know this is south. I'm so scared to even get close to the edge. <sighs> and it lets you know what mountains you're seeing, which is awesome. So in this direction, you can see Mount Leconte, the third highest mountain in the east. And uh, we saw on the news that Mount Leconte had snow this morning. So I'm not sure which peak it is, maybe that one. But either way, there's snow somewhere up in them there hills. That is crazy. Highway 441, the spur. Oh yeah, I love that section of the road. There is sky lift. The floor is definitely wet and squeaky, which adds the nerves. One of these homes up here used to be in my cabin bay. Well, that's interesting. Here is North Whoa. Crockett Mountain. Huh. That was a really good documentary we saw recently about Tammy Faye. There's a movie and there's a documentary, both very good. This is awesome, wow. And then over here we have West, sorry about the squeaky sneaks. Oh, Klingman's Dome, we did that once and we loved it. We walked up there, I have a video about it, <laughs> and it was incredible. Ah! Great Smoky Mountains, wow. Look at that. Is that not stunning? Look at the clouds. There's Ober. Oh yeah, there it is. So they have a different kind of lift. Enclosed. And they're up in the clouds right now. Ooh. You loving it? I love it. It's definitely one of the more open observation ones we've gone to. Right? I agree. A lot of them are kind of closed off and you don't get the full 360 view, but up here you really, really do. Ah! And down there is Mysterious Mansion. That is a haunted house, an independent haunt here. I think that's it right there. But we did that on one of our trips and we really enjoyed it. It was really fun. Yeah, that right there. Is that where it, yeah. Because they painted it, I think. Yeah. But yeah, super cool. And then right there, that's the rooftop bar we were just on. We were in the covered part, but that was really cool. This is a lot higher than it looked when you're up It's so high. I can hear music from like the restaurants downstairs. 
As we've been up here, it's gotten even smokier and cloudier up there. It looks just crazy beautiful. Wow. I don't even know if camera or phone, like either the camera I'm using or our phones or anything can capture how incredible that looks. You can definitely get some nice pics up here. And up here is the history of Gatlinburg since it was settled at least. And it's quite a big history. Mountain View Hotel in 1916. Wow. You were hesitant to come up here, mm -hmm. but are you glad you did? Yeah, I am glad I did actually. I think today with like the smoky clouds yeah. and like the rainy look, it, it looks really cool. It looks incredible. This is amazing. It's not so cloudy that it blocks the view. It's cloudy in a way that is striking and stunning and like National Geographic looking. Like, yeah. here's the thing about Gatlinburg. There's a lot to do down there on the strip. There's a lot of tourist shops and cute things, but you need to go up. To start a green. Um, let's get some, oh my God, it's leaking raining in here. Okay, let's get some rain views. Well, it just started raining again. My goodness. This is a good rainy day attraction. It really is, because it's indoors. It's open to the outside, but you're inside, you know? I guess we'll just sit and wait for a little bit. No point in hurrying down if it's gonna be pouring down there. And this is just a great spot to watch the rain. I can't even imagine sitting in one of those lifts right now, all just open and wet and slippery. No, thank you. Once it started raining, it got colder, didn't it? Yeah, it did. A little chill. Yeah, my fingers are frozen. Yeah, it's kind of slowing down now. The rain's just on and off all day. <laughs> Oh, maybe G? Oh, G no. for ground. No, I'm not well, sure. This is Push here. <laughs> That's the only button. Okay. Yeah. This was cool, right? This was cool. I like We've it. done it. Yeah, I'm not sure if I could get my mom up here. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not my parents. I don't no. think so, but we'll try. We'll try. Oh, you can get a Space Needle collectible penny. <laughs> 51 cents each. There are some stairs in case, you know, you need to walk down. Yeah. All right, we are going back down. The stairs look a bit. No, no, we're not talking about the stairs anymore. <laughs> we're done with the stairs. We got the elevator. It took a long time. And we're going down. Woo! -hoo! I don't like it when Sam's nervous. <laughs> oh. Okay, we're almost there. My ear popped a little. <laughs> Please. It was cold up there, right? Yeah. Once the rain came, really chilled. <laughs> really chilled it up. My question was, if the elevator stopped, how do you get out to the stairs? Okay, we are at the bottom. Open. Please open. Okay, woohoo! We made it! Yeah, how do you even get to the yeah. stairs? <laughs> oh my gosh, we made it. Wow. These are like the two tea machines in England. The, yeah, and you know what else they remind me? This reminds me of like a casino in Vegas. Look at how crazy those look. The strip is filled with weird and wacky places of all kinds. He's so scary. Oh my gosh. Truly terrifying. And our hotel is conveniently located right up that street, a pretty easy walk, so I'd say it was good. Fairfield Inn by Marriott, downtown Gatlinburg. I was able to use Marriott points to book this, which is nice. It's been actually really nice. When we came in, everything was so cozy and pretty. Super clean, super clean room. And our original plan was to do Ober Gatlinburg today because, you know, Gatlinburg, the main attractions here, Anakista, well, the main mountain attractions, Anakista, Skylift, Ober Gatlinburg. But this morning they reported that because of the weather, almost all the attractions were closed up there. The slide, the mountain coaster, almost everything we wanted to do. And we figured if we're gonna spend the time and money to go up there, we want everything to be open, or at least the main things we wanna do. So we made the best of it. 
we explored around the mountain shops, little touristy shops and had fun, and we went up the Space Needle, which I don't know if we would have done unless it ended up being that we, you know, changed our plans and, and we're trying to find other things to do and checking things out, but it actually worked out. Sometimes the most unexpected things turn out to be really cool and fun and memorable. And I think that's gonna be a very memorable one for us. Very, very cool and neat. And honestly not that expensive, comparable to other attractions around here, especially the fact that you can do it twice within a 24 hour period from when you first do it. So that's cool too. You can do like a day and a night, or if you do it at night, you can do it the next day again and you can spend as much time as you want up there you can like hang out up there for as long as you want we saw some families go up and just take a few pics and go down we saw some people who were up there like the whole time with us and we stayed up there for quite a while and we really enjoyed it but now we're all cozied back up in our hotel room and we are gonna chill and relax for the evening there's a campfire here so we may go downstairs and hang out by that and just have cookies and <laughs> relax that's one of the things you do here in the Smoky Mountain towns. If you want to see more that we have done in Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, and the general Smoky Mountains area, I have a playlist that I will link because we've done quite a lot of the attractions now, but there's always more to do on future visits. We really enjoy the trying a few new things each visit approach. It's been a fun way to explore everything, and uh, we appreciate you coming with us and hanging out and enjoying the day and fun little day hanging out in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, fall 2023, beautiful October, with snow going on, snow up on the mountains. Wow, it got chilly, but it wasn't that cold, but it was rainy, so. Anywho, there's a lot more you could do on a rainy day here. You can do the aquarium, there's a lot of indoor attractions, quite a lot, actually, and we'll explore more and more as we uh, return for more future visits. So let me know if you visited Gatlinburg, what your favorite thing we did today was, and what your favorite thing to do is here, so that we can rack up some more uh, suggestions for future visits. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. I'm sending you a ton of love. I'll see you for the next video, and until then, as always, stay enthused. Bye.